stages of realization. And um, I was wondering if there is a connection between those stages and uh, stages of um, how um, we go deeper into meditation, concentration meditation, and then eventually to samadhi. Yes. In Bhakti Sandarbha, Srila Jiva Goswami Pad describes five stages of the anger of Bhakti called Smaran. Mm -hmm. First, Smaran, Dharana, Dhyan, Dhruvanu Smriti, and then Samadhi. Mm -hmm. So, mm, also in Bhakti Sandarbha, he speaks about the gradual internal spurti or realization that comes from chanting. Mm -hmm. Nam, Rup, Gun, Parikar, Lila. But he doesn't tie these two together. Mm. But they must be related. So actually in the there's a book by Srila Bhaktino Thakur called Chaitanya Shikshamrita. Mm. And really it's the only place where this is being directly correlated. So in Chaitanya uh, Shikshamrita, Srila Bhaktino Thakur says that you do Nam Smaran. Rup Dharan. Mm. Gun Dhyan mm. and uh, then, then the Lila Dhruvanusmriti and then Lila Pradesh. You yourself enter into the Lila in the state of Samadhi. Mm. So this is how the five stages of Smaran relate to the five stages to five stages of realization Nam, Rup, Gun, Lila and entering yourself in your spiritual form into the Lila. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Yes, first Yeah, Guru A person who doesn't, uh, is not at the level of Shraddha Namapas mm -hmm. and has not received the Darshan of Krishna is it possible that this person does Smaran or not? Suta anta kanas chet smaranam kuryat. Smaran cannot take place until the chitta has become shuddha. That means mm, the swatatvam avikaritvam santatvam iti chetasa that the chitta is free from distraction. It became ekagra, one pointed, free from tiredness, laziness, and it became clear. And then, by hearing and chanting, automatically the form of Krishna awakens in the heart. If when hearing and chanting, the form of Krishna is not awakening in the heart, then the heart is not pure, or you are committing Nama Parat. So, then, some artificial kind of smaran will not make you become free from Nama Parat. And smaran itself cannot purify the heart, but rather, the heart must be purified before this maran can take place. It's a prerequisite. That's why uh, in the angas of bhakti, it's a sravanam kirtanam smaranam. Not smaranam sravanam kirtanam. <laughs> it starts with hearing and chanting because these two angas of bhakti are necessary to make one qualified for the next anger of bhakti. Smaranam. But still, a person may, they try to remember because person is serving the deity. So they can remember the form of their deity. Hmm? Or they may know some <coughs> verse glorifying Krishna. Vainum kwananta maravinda delight. Krishna plays the flute and he's smiling, he has lotus eyes. Hmm? So they remember their deity, they remember these verses. But the Siddhanta here is that that is not the <coughs> anger of bhakti called smaranam. They are doing archanam. Hmm? My good idea to say, you may think even that you are doing kirtan. 
You may think that you're doing smaran, but all everything you're doing is arts. Huh? In other words, the Kanishta Adhikari, because of his faith in Bhakti, but he's still covered with many anarthas. He has faith in Archa, and that's the definition of the Kanishta Adhikari. Archa evahare puraya shadeyate na tad bhakti shu chanyesu sa bhakta prakrita smita. The materialistic devotee, he has faith in the path of Archa, worshipping the deities, and in his guru. But he does not know how to interact with other advanced devotees. He plays out, oh, my guru is great and Krishna the deity is great. <laughs> but he cannot appreciate. So that's why the tendency of the materialistic devotees to become very sectarian. They cannot understand that guru tattva is manifest in his guru, but also in other person's gurus as well. So, uh, in that prakriti stage, the materialistic stage, first stage of devotion, the devotee doesn't actually understand bhakti tattva. He only has some trust in the path of Archa. So, he's thinking that he's doing Kirtan, he's thinking that he's doing Smaran. But he's doing Archa and he's hearing, chanting and remembering are sublims. Uh, they are the sub-angers of the anger of Archa. When he enters into the Madhyam stage, then he starts to understand Bhakti Tattva and actual Sravan and Kirtan begins. To, because actual Sravan means when you hear about Krishna, you are seeing Krishna. Actual Kirtan means when you are chanting of Krishna, the form of Krishna is reflected in your heart. Hmm? Actual Smaran means meditating on the reflection of Krishna in your actual reflection. Or searching for the samskars of a previous realization. Understand? So, because Mahapu has said, Nava Bhita Bhakti uh, Purna Nama Hoi Te Hai. All the nine angles of Bhakti become completed just by Nam chanting the holy name. Hmm? So, the chanting of the holy name does not require the uh, extra effort to do Smaran, it does not require extra effort to do Archan or anything. Everything is included in that in Harina. But uh, that is for those who have entered into Anyabhlasta Sunyam Jnana Kama Tenavritam Anukuyena Krishna Anushilam Bhakti Uttama Uttam Bhakti Transcendental Bhakti Not uh, just the outer practice. <clears throat> so the first 20 limbs of Bhakti beginning with Guru Pada Sri Diksha Guru Sevam Saddharma Pritsa Shiksha Sadhu Maga Nugaman taking shelter of Guru, receiving initiation, inquiring and rendering service to Guru with deep faith and following in the footsteps of previous Acharyas like this. So the first five it goes on. So the first twenty angles of Bhakti, Rupa Goswami Pad said, actually this is only the Pravesh Dwara, the door to enter into Bhakti. So mainly, uh, mainly we are seeing that the devotees are in the first Prakrit stage for generally quite some time before they actually enter into Bhakti and realize what is real Sravan, real Kirtan and real Smaran. So this is a confusion or some apparent contradiction comes about among the neophytes because uh, they don't discriminate between Tattva Vichar, the actual Bhakti Tattva, and just the general understanding. That is called aparavichar. Just a general a material consideration or understanding of the scripture or the words of scripture. So that's we'll discuss it today. We'll, we'll come in, in our morning class. About the different levels of devotees. So in those who are Madhyam in Vaidhi Bhakti, then Shastarukti Nahijani. The Madhyamin Vaidhi Bhakti, he has strong faith, but he cannot understand the Shastra Yukti, the logic of the scriptures, the presentation. What is this? Why does it say you have to be pure before you can do smara? Uh, there may be certain things that he cannot grasp yet, because he has not entered into the Shuddha Bhakti. 
So these things we'll discuss in the morning class. So everyone should come back. What time is the morning class? 11, 11 o'clock. And I, perhaps it will be in here. Yes. Right, because outside is a bit wet and cold now. Okay. So take a break first. On a prasadam, and we'll meet you here at 11 o'clock. Go, Premanandi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.